It's time to bring out the big guns. OMG, that is so badass. I know, right? You've truly outdone yourself this time, Elf Zibbit. I'll never understand, boys. Chad! Thanks again for inviting me to dinner for Christmas Eve, girlfriend. You're welcome, John. I hope you had a good time. It was great. I mean, aside from the demonic-looking meatloaf your mom made, or the fact your dad kept trying to do me in at the table, I think, and that bill he gave me for ceiling repair. Other than that, I had a wonderful time. I'm glad. Let me turn on the lights real quick. Wow, this looks amazing. Christmas is my favorite time of year. Make yourself at home while I prepare cookies and milk for Santa. You still leave out cookies and milk for Santa? Of course. Just because I'm not a kid anymore doesn't mean Santa doesn't get hungry. Aw, my sweet, innocent baby. You still believe Santa's real? Of course. If Santa's not real, then who takes little bites out of the cookies and drinks the milk every Christmas? Um, John? Hey, shoo, these are for Santa. Hmm, that kind of explains why Santa often leaves mouse droppings behind. Still, Santa is real. I remember coming downstairs as a kid and seeing presents under the tree on Christmas morning. Explain that. Your parents bought them, obviously. Oh, damn it. No wonder I kept getting school supplies. Even so, I believe in Santa. He's going to be stoked to find cookies and milk waiting for him when he drops by with my presents. You should do the same for Santa at your house. <laughs> oh, I don't think Santa wants to visit me or my house. Right. All set. Oh, time for bed. Whoa! Ho, ho, ho! Is this plump body of mine? Oof. Cookies and milk? Jackpot! Finally got here before the mouse. Uh oh, better hurry before he wakes up. No, no. What? Who put this in here? <gasps> A burglar. No way I'm letting you ruin Christmas. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. <laughs> Cookies and milk. <laughs> Santa. Oh boy, what have I done? Now what? Oh, I'll call girlfriend. She'll know what to do. See? Told you Santa was real. You sure you didn't just beat up a homeless person in a costume and tie him to a chair? What is this? Release me at once! Don't you know who I am? <clears throat> Are you really Santa? Of course I'm Santa! Look at my belly! Wow, didn't think that you were real. Uh, where'd you think John's school supplies come from? Please untie me now! Why did we tie him up in the first place? I don't know. You had an unconscious stranger in your living room. Seemed like the right thing to do at the time. Wait, I know you. You know girlfriend? I thought you didn't believe in Santa. How come you two know each other? I don't, honest. Care to explain? Did you forget that I have the names of all beings in my naughty or nice list? Guess I'm on the naughty list then, huh? Oh, oh no, uh, you and your parents are on another list. The beings you should not mess with list. Cool. I have no clue what you guys are talking about, but I'm sure as heck excited that my girlfriend is acquainted with THE Santa Claus. Well, I better get going. These presents ain't gonna deliver themselves. Will you make it in time? You've been out cold for a long while now. Uh, how long? Oh, 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 no! This is not happening! This is not happening! Calm down, Santa. What's the matter? Oh, okay. So, time works differently for Santa and the North Pole. Four hours for you can be days for me. 
That's how I can deliver so many presents around the world in one night. Also, the presents I give to children? Well, they hold magical powers. The presents for nice kids compel them to continue behaving on a subconscious level. Isn't that just brainwashing? N no, it's much more innocent and whimsical than that. But the coals I give to naughty kids, they're not punishments, mind you. They serve an important purpose. The coals act as a deterrent to keep away Krampus, a horned devil who kidnaps naughty children for reasons that cannot be said on a family-friendly YouTube video. So, we have to deliver those presents now! Santa speaking, talk to me. Boss, where you been? Sorry, I was a little tied up for a moment. I called so many times. Why didn't you answer my phone for me? I mean, I was taught not to accept phone calls from strangers. Ah, good boy, John. Krampus has invaded the workshop and corrupted the Guardian Snowmen. Oh no, I'm on my way. Desperate times call for desperate measures. You two made this mess, so you're gonna help me clean it up. Get in. We don't have time. I mean, we have all the time in the world, but... Ah, you get what I mean! Santa, why do you drop down chimneys like a burglar if you can teleport? And if you can teleport, why do you need a sleigh? No more questions. Welcome to the North Pole! It's so bright. Isn't it still nighttime? Like I said, time works differently here. Look, it's Santa's workshop. Surrounded by evil snowmen? Krampus must have corrupted them. Snowmen are the security of the North Pole. They're cute, but deadly. One of them gave me a nasty scar on my butt while I was building them. Wanna see? Ew, no thanks. Mm, suit yourself. We're almost there. Let's go over the plan. Great. On three. One, two. Subscribe to Silver John. Let's just go. I hereby claim dominion over this workshop and command you, pointy eared imbeciles, to submit yourselves to. What the? Elves! Initiate defense protocol KBBQ! What the hell's going on? Never underestimate the power of the elves' favorite food, Korean barbecue. 5K BBQ! Bring the reinforcements! Looking for your evil snowmen stationed outside? They've already been dealt with. <laughs> I guess there's only one thing left to do. Retreat! You're not getting away that easily, Krampus. <laughs> we'll see about that. You? Oh, no wonder. Girlfriend, you all right? Not entirely. I broke a nail. Aw, poor thing. Come on, it's just a fingernail. I, I mean, how dare those flavorless snow cones? So where did Krampus run off to? Stop hiding and show yourself! <laughs> you didn't think I'd come alone, did ya? My army is larger and stronger than yours, Santa. And with an inexhaustible supply of snow, my snowmen can regenerate indefinitely! Want me to set the entire place ablaze? That'd be great. Wait, no. The entire North Pole would melt if you did that. It's time to bring out the big guns. Mrs. Claus? No, oh, no, not that big. OMG, that is so badass! I know, right? You've truly outdone yourself this time, Elf Zibbit. I'll never understand, boys. Charge! This is payback for my nail! And some of this! 
you've lost your edge, Santa. You've had it too easy for too long. Merry Christmas and a happy new life. Wow, strong candy cane. Krampus, I challenge you to a song battle. Bring it. Be back again next year. John, are you okay? You did great, by the way. Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks, girlfriend. Well done, John. But there's still more to do. We're already behind schedule, and my sleigh was ruined in battle. Chill, dog. We got you covered. I just <laughs> pimp your ride. Wanna come for a ride? Yes! Thank you, both of you, for your help. You're welcome, Santa. And sorry for all the trouble we caused. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Let's go, girlfriend. I'll walk you home. Oh boy, presents! Santa really is real! I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to click like, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell. Please share it to your friends if you liked this video. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.